It is Friday, September 6, 2019, 12.07 p.m. A um, little chilly outside. Um, fall weather, so that's to be expected. Finished my wireless and mobile mobile device management course today. Um, we did a final project, which we ended up working up in groups. Um, we didn't have to, but I, I didn't really know that much because I wasn't paying attention that much during class. So I teamed up with a couple of guys who I ended up regretting. Um, to be honest, I probably could have done a better job on my own because they didn't really do that much. Um, but whatever, I think it, it was okay. I mean, it's not that we're not worth a whole bunch of marks and, uh, I think we did okay. Not my best work, but whatever it is what it is. Um, so I handed that in yesterday and then today we had a final exam, 72 questions and open book. I thought I did well because I would search up answers and I would... You know, I'd search them up online or in the textbook and I was getting the correct answers, I thought. Submitted it, 68%. I have a, I honestly have no idea. This is now three times this year where I've been like, I'm totally going to pass this. And Well, I passed this exam, but poorly. I thought I was going to get at least 85. But, yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know what I got wrong. Because le legitimately, like, 90% of the questions... I got the answers I got straight out of the book. They were straight out of the book. So I don't know what I got wrong. So yeah, that was annoying, but whatever it is what it is. Probably gonna drag my average down a lot, but, um, whatever. I'm not too worried about it. A plus is next. I got my A plus book. Uh, started reading it and I'm actually excited. Like again, just like I was last year when I started reading Matt's A plus book, like I'm actually like, I'm, I'm going through the pages right now. Like the first few pages that I've read is about motherboards, different types of motherboards that, uh, I was on PCI, and PCIe slots, and next up is memory slots, I believe. And it's just interesting to me. Like I like that information, so that's cool. But uh, yeah, so this week I didn't really do a whole lot, just because I just needed a break. So I actually didn't go back to studying this week. I will next week, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, that's that. So an A plus is my last thing, and it lasts for. Let's see. Um, I am an A plus until. Uh, the week of October 14th, so just a month and a half. Yeah, well, I guess a month, maybe and a half, yeah, about a month. So, yeah, so that'd be cool. That's a lot of information. There's like 1,400, 1400 pages, and each chapter is like um, about 100 pages. So, quite a lot of information to memorize. So, that's going to be rough, but yeah, so there's that. Um, the Demons and Wizard concert was awesome. Um, first of all, the venue was nice. It was like, there was like this hallway that you went into and surprisingly, it wasn't surprisingly, it wasn't very busy. So you could walk in and out freely. Uh, and then you walked into like the actual theater area, um, which was nice. And the sound in there was awesome. Um, and when, uh, when Demons and Windsor was playing, there were parts where like the crowd was singing along and it sounded super loud. I don't know if it's like, if we were just super loud or if it was, um, just the venue amplifying it or if it was both, but damn, but like it was like they played a cover of Valhalla and it was loud. So that was awesome. But um Yeah, so they played they played pretty much everything I wanted to hear. They played Crimson King, Fiddler on the Green, uh, The Wicked Witch, a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, Welcome to Dying and Valhalla, like I said, they played covers and they played a couple of Iced Earth covers. Uh overall, really good show. The lighting effects that they had. Um, I mean standard lighting effects, but they did it really well. There's one part they had like each band member, it was like a circle of white lights, like individual streams, and they were all behind the person, so like the person would break up the lights, and it was, it was just cool, it was just cool looking, so got a couple pictures of that, overall great show, I'm um, really happy I went, uh, uh, Tweer was actually the first band, which I wasn't expecting them to do that, but they put on a decent show, Lizzie Borden, um, they put on, they sound a lot better live than they do in studio, which was cool, they put on a pretty decent show, uh, the lead singer kept switching out masks, um, and face costumes or whatever so that was pretty cool at one point he had like a uh like a uh, like his face was here but he had like replicas of his face like a three-sided face mask it was awesome it looked so sick um so that was pretty cool and um yeah it was three bands went by quick and that's what like three bands max like that is the perfect show right there three bands intro middle end that was perfect so yeah, we go out and um, also be on the way there, I guess, beforehand, we, I stopped by Matt's, we, I ate dinner and then at his house and then uh, I had to pee. I, I was already like peeing a lot, like my, you know, peeing every five minutes type of thing. And then so I peed before we left and I felt pretty confident, but I also finished off a, a bottle of water that I had there 
before we left. So I was like, all right, this hopefully this doesn't you know, affect me too bad. Um, it was getting pretty rough, but by the time we got into the city, like we were almost, we were still needed like another 30 minutes on the highway. That's when it started to get really, really bad. And by the time we got off the highway and like onto the streets where we had to go, it was like a bump, like a little bit of a bump, death. It was, it hurt. It literally hurt. So we ended up parking in this, what we thought was a parking lot, but uh, so we parked in there and, we're, and I'm like, I gave Matt his ticket, asked him to pay because I needed to go to one of the shops nearby to, um, to piss. Uh, luckily there's literally like right around the corner, there's a place I walked in, asked the little washroom, uh, pass, got in there and just let loose. And honestly, I was laughing. I was giggling. It, was, it felt so good to be free of that pain. And I, I walked out of there feeling like a new man. So I was excited. I felt good. Matt said we can't park there because, um, it's up till nine or whatever. Um, and it's like a, it's like a, it's, the, I don't, it's not a grocery store, but it's like the business parking. So, um, but you can pay to park there, but you can only pay, stay till nine. So like, all right, so we're gonna go find something else. We drove around for a little bit looking for different parking. We finally ended up parking at, um, a grocery store parking lot. And so there was that. Um, now the thing that sucked was, um, what's funny is I parked in the, so basically like the road where you like drive, there was like a slot, like right. So two slots and this is where the thing begins and this is where the road is. Right. And this parking lot goes this way. Right. So I parked here and it's the road and I parked there and I was like, ah, I kind of like parking here cause yeah, I'm on the, on the edge, but someone swipes me, ah, whatever, I'll stay here. And so I stayed there and of course should have trusted my gut. We get back from the concert and on my, and on the, on the, there's a note, this note right here is on my windshield and I'm like, fuck. I thought, first I thought it was a ticket. I was like, okay, we got a ticket. I mean, we have parking here, so I have a ticket. So I, mean, I have like a parking, like I have like a, a pass or whatever, a bought parking pass. So, so that's cool. And then my brother's like, right, my brother starts reading. I'm like, oh, fuck, someone, someone hit me. Great. So he's reading it and he's like, yeah, someone hit your car. Someone messed up your license plate. So I'm like, God damn it. So I walk out and literally the only thing that's wrong is, um, they hit my license. Someone hit back into my license plate and all it did was the, basically the bracket that it was, you know, they screw the license plate into that was, um, pretty much chipped on the, on the, on the edge. Um, like pretty, like pretty chipped, like folded forward almost and the license plate itself. The, the right side was kind of folded inwards. And then the, like the plastic covering I had over it was completely broken. So I was like, God ugh, crap. So, I wasn't too, too stressed about it, but like, I was a little bit stressed about it. Like not as stressed as I thought I would be, which was nice. I didn't fixate on it, which was nice, but I was like, this blows. So, ah, uh, okay. Well, okay. So I called the person on Saturday cause it was like 11 o'clock by the time I got back to the car. I'm not going to call them then. So like 11 o'clock and, or yeah, we drive home, call them the next day and I get voicemail and just the name, the way they said their name, you could tell they are English as a second language and I was like, okay, well, this is, this sucks. I'm not going to get, like, I, I was hoping we could like figure out an e-transfer because that'd be the easiest way to do it. And I was like, all right, well, this is, this is not going to work. I mean, if, I mean, if I can even have a conversation with this person, um, but I doubt they understand how e-transfer works. So I'm like, God damn it. So I call back in 30 minutes. She answers and she speaks English pretty well. So that was nice. And she's like, all right, yeah, I can send you a check for, cause I, cause before I called, I looked into like how much it costs. Cause I, what I didn't know was a, there's the, there's the bracket that I was talking about that you screw the license plate into. I didn't know that also needed to be replaced. I thought it was, I thought that was just part of like the plastic thing that my license plate was, you know, covering my license plate. So I thought if I take that off, license plate off, that would come off with it. And I would just replace that from like Canadian tire or whatever. So I, before I, before I called, I checked the prices and it was $59 to replace a damaged license plate. And it was like 12 bucks for a new plastic border or whatever. So I was like, all right, it's like 75 bucks or whatever after taxes. Um, so I was like, all right. so I called her and I was like, all right. So it's like, I, I looked it's 75 bucks for that. She's like, yeah, no problem. I, I can send you a check. And I was like, can you e-transfer? Cause I kind of don't want to wait for a check to come in. And she's like, well, I don't know how to e-transfer Uh check is kind of all I know. And I was like, do you have maybe like a, 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 a kid that could, that could help you out with this? She's like, uh, well, I, yeah, I have a daughter. I can ask her if she knows how to do it. I was like, yeah, if you could, that'd be great. If not, but you can figure something else out. So I'm sitting there. So it's like, I don't know, like an hour goes by, maybe two. And I'm, I'm thinking like, oh, Jesus Christ, I really hope she figured this out. I hope she doesn't like scam me and be like, oh yeah, I checked, but I didn't actually check. So I'm going to go ahead and send you that check now. Um, but uh, yeah, a couple hours later, literally, I just, I just, I just got a notification on my phone. Uh, individual has sent you $75 e-transfer. I was like, yes, sick. So I accept it. Let her know. Thank you so much. And uh, have a good weekend. Thank you. I, I, I told her when I called her as well as on the text, like, you know, I appreciate your honesty because not everyone would have left a note. So I really do appreciate that. 
Um, that was really nice of you. And because of because she left the note, I was, I don't know, I, I wasn't really angry even to be, begin with. I was, I was a little bit annoyed, but I tried, you know, when I called her, I, I was calm. I, didn't, I wasn't really too, you know, angry or anything. Had, had, like, like I'm talking right now, like a regular conversation. And yeah, I thanked her for being nice and not being an asshole. Um, so yeah, she sent me 75 bucks. I was like, all right, sick. Uh, Tuesday, I forgot to take my license or take a screwdriver with me. So, and I didn't feel like going after I got home from school. So Wednesday, uh, after school, I went and I got a new license plate, which sucks because my old license plate was easy to remember. Uh, this one's, I mean, I already remember, I remember it now, but like, it's just not, it's not as easy um, to remember. So, so I got new license plates and then I went to Canadian Tower. I bought like a plastic border around it, but, um, Later on, so basically, no, actually, when I took, so I got some in order. So when I took off the front license plate, which is where it was, um, I noticed that, like, the, 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 what was it called, the, the, the bracket that the license plate sat on was actually broken, and I, that, that wasn't coming off. That was an entirely different piece. So I was like, oh, shit. Okay. One thing at a time. So I went in, got my, all that crap done with the license plate. I came back, and I decided, all right, so let's figure this out. So I drove by to the, to the car shop here, and I was like, can you guys fix this? And he, he's like, all right, let's take a look. He's like, yeah, we can do that. It's just gonna cost. It's probably gonna cost. I mean, last time I ordered this was like sixty bucks for a Honda. So I was like, okay. I mean, let's let's see what it costs. So he gives me a quote. I mean, it's a fifty-one bucks plus twenty-four dollars of labor, nine dollars of tax, whatever. It came up to eighty-five oh four was the quote I got. And I was like, okay. Well, she, lady, sorry, the lady sent me. Her daughter sent me eighty bucks initially. I asked for seventy-five. But she sent me eighty, and I paid. It was like seventy dollars and twenty-nine cents, I think, after I got license plate in the border, the plastic border. So I was like, okay. So, um. So I texted the lady. I was like, so 7029 for the other two stuff, but here's a quote. I sent her a picture of the quote and it's $85 and four cents for, then I sent her the picture of like the bracket itself. And I was like, this still has to be done. I was hoping you could pay for this as well. Mm -hmm. She said, yep, I'll get my daughter to send you the money ASAP. And I was like, okay, sick. I mean, I was kind of worried that she'd be like, I, I, I was kind of worried she'd think I was scamming her. I'd be like, oh no, I already, pay, I already gave you $80. I'm not going to pay you another 80 or whatever, or 70, ask for 70. Or 75. Yeah, I asked her for 75 because like there's $10 left over from what she sent me initially. So if you could send me the 75 remaining dollars, it would cover that. And she's and I was I was worried she was gonna just ignore me. She was gonna say no. Um, but yeah, like 30 minutes she replied, "Yep, I'll get that sent to you ASAP." And then maybe another hour later, her daughter had sent me uh, the seven or 80, 75. I think it was 75 bucks that uh, I was owed. And then I called in. I was like, "Yep, can we get this done?" And then yesterday, Thursday. I went in, they changed it up, and everything is fixed. Not even a full week after I got it damaged, everything is fixed. Uh, I mean, with with like the penny exchange, I think I paid like 33 cents out of my own pocket for for this fix, which I'm whatever. I mean, I, I'll 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 eat that 33 cents. So that was nice. Um, it was it was it was a little bit stressful. Uh, like I said, I wasn't fixating on it like I sometimes do, but it was it was a little bit stressful, and it was nice to get that done over with. It was, it was the person that I was speaking with. Uh, she was nice. She was kind, understanding, um, and she was quick. That's the thing too. Like I didn't have to wait hours. I didn't have to remind her about anything. It was just quick to the point. I I text her, and then 30 minutes later, yep, I'll get that done. No problem. You got it, and uh, no questions asked. Perfect. So, really, really, really appreciated that. That's that's the first. That's the first time I've ever had any sort of accident. I mean, it's not even an accident. I wasn't even in the car. It's not even that big of a deal. Literally, just my license plate. Um, so for, lucked out on that. Lucked out on the person that I got. So I'm thankful for that. Happy that it all got figured out. Happy that I didn't have to pay for anything, technically. And um, yeah, so that was the thing. Um, and I'm, I'm happy that it got done quickly. Like I said, like it's it's it was Thursday yesterday when I finished it. So I mean, five days after the fact, everything's figured out and done. So nice. So yeah. Um, at the show, I got a T-shirt that has tour dates on the back, and the front is basically just the picture of the self-titled album. I don't have it now because it's in laundry. And yeah. And then, like I said, this week I've been chilling. Yesterday I tried playing some games. I tried playing Battlefield, and I was okay for a bit. And I, I, I felt bored the entire time. But then, like, I started getting killed a lot more frequently in done deaths, and I just kind of rage quit that. Um, but catching up with the wrestling, I, I tried playing some Gary's Mod Murder, Prop Hunt, and Surf, and B Hop, and I was just bored the entire time. So I didn't play those for too long. Um, still fighting off my desire to play WoW. I mean, I keep thinking, like, just to resubscribe. But then honestly, I, I, I think about like, right, I, I put myself in the thought process of, okay, what are you going to do when you log on? Okay. And I think, okay, well, I'll farm some mounts. I think about farming mounts. I'm like, no, that I, I don't, I, I don't want to do that. That sounds dreadful. Okay. Well, I'll level an Alliance character. Okay. Sure. Yeah. For like 20 minutes. 
And then what are you going to do? Because you're, you're not, you, I'm already, like, just thinking about it right now. Like, right this second, I'm already like, I don't want to do that for very long. So, okay, you're going to play for 20 minutes there. Cool. What else are you going to do? Maybe some world quests. Nope, I'm not going to do world quests because I don't feel like doing world quests. I don't want to do any of that farming. Okay, maybe I'll level in classic. No, you won't because the same thing as leveling alliance character. It's you're going to play for even less 20 minutes because it's going to be longer to level and you're going to be bored. Okay. Um, what else are you going to do? Run dungeons and, and maybe LFR or something? No, you're definitely not going to run LFR because you hate it. And uh, dungeons, you also hate. There's time walking, but you'll walk, you'll do five time walking dungeons, and you'll be done. So, what else are you gonna do? PvP? Absolutely not. Farm pet battles? Okay, you'll do one or two, and you get bored. Um, even if you're watching something, you're gonna get bored. So no, you're not gonna do that. And like everything I go through, I'm like, no, you're not gonna. Do, you're not gonna play. You, I don't know why I have this desire to play because I know that I'm not gonna like anything that I play. So, I don't know. It, it's weird. Like I, there's a part of me that wants to play, but like my mind, fortunately, is like, why? You, you, you have nothing you want to do in the game. So what? What? Like I don't know. Right now I'm I'm fine, but I feel like I'm I'm gonna keep eventually. Um, I would like to not resub until the WoW 15th anniversary event, which takes place um in October, I believe. Let's see. Um. Okay, that doesn't give me any, any information. Oh, Jesus Christ. Here we go. When will it start? November. Even even longer. So, November. So, if I can hold out for that long, that'd be nice. Because then, like, I'll have longer periods of wanting to play. And then I'll actually have something to do, like, grinding that uh, Deathwing mount. So, yeah. So, there's that. Uh, finished watching Nightmare on Elm Street series. Awful. Just trash. I don't understand <laughs> why I thought these were good movies. Garbage. The 2010 remake, I, I watched it. I remember watching it when it came out, and I hated it at the time. But watching it now, it was the last one I watched after I watched the original 9 or whatever there are. Um, it was actually good. It was actually the only movie that I legitimately liked overall. Like, I liked the pacing. I liked the action. I liked um, yeah, the story. Um, I liked the callbacks to the first movie. I liked... The only thing I didn't like was the voice of Freddy Krueger. Just because it sounded like almost like Duke Nukem or like some sort of voiceover for a, for a video game, so that was the only thing I, only thing I didn't like. But everything else, I liked it. Uh, the first movie was cheesy but good. It had some cool death scenes, um, classic moments, and everything after that it got worse and worse. And Freddy became literally like a comedy. It was so, but like a bad comedy. It was so bad. So, yeah. And I also found out for the longest time I thought Jason Mewes was the stoner in Freddy vs Jason. Not Jason Mewes. Not even close. Not even. Not even. Not even close. So it was, I, the entire movie, I was like, all right, when's it coming, when's it coming? And it, it took, they, there was a stoner that was introduced. I'm like, okay, well, there's another, I don't remember another stoner. Who was this? So I searched up the cast and there was no Jason Mewes. And I was like, okay. And then I realized that stoner was the person I thought was Jason Mewes. I don't know. So that's the thing. Um, next up, I'm probably going to watch Friday the 13th just because I've already watched Friday vs. Jason. Might as well get that done with. Um, I, I looked up people's rankings and apparently like the fourth movie is the best. So uh, like the first three I think they were relatively highly ranked, but the but the fourth one is like consistently number one or like within the top three for a lot of people. So excited to see that and um, yeah. So my plan is to to watch a lot of Halloween movies until Halloween. Um, I would like to get um, Freddy vs or sorry, I'd like to get all the Friday the Thirteenth movies done, Halloween movies done. I would like to do the Rob Zombie movies, uh, Hellraiser possibly, and then uh, uh, Child's Play. And then kind of go all actual other horror movies. Um, Child's Play, I'm not that keen on. Like it's like a like a popular franchise, so it'd be nice to do that. But I'd say with Hellraiser, the first I remember I remember watching the first one when I was still with Taylor, and it was just garbage. So um, we'll see about those two franchises. But yeah, I'm just kind of get in the mood. And then after Halloween, from pretty much from November till the end of the year. I'm gonna be, it's going to be a combination of watching Christmas movies, um, but also there's something else I was going to watch. Damn. There was a certain show or a movie that I wanted to watch in November. I don't remember. I was, I was literally thinking about this the other day. There was, something, there was something specifically in November that I was going to watch. It's a TV show. But I don't know. So, whatever. Um, and yeah. And there's another, another thing that I was thinking about is, so it was, so school started this week for, for people, and I was just thinking about, I, I, I was just thinking about how fast time went, because it literally feels like not very long ago, I was going to Wonderland, and that was two months ago now, 
July, August. Yeah, two months ago. Two months and maybe a week or so. Like, that flew by. Absolutely flew by. And then I think back to like in January, November, or sorry, January, February, wherever it was when I was starting Network Plus. And how much I was dreading, dreading that. And how like that is distant. And then I was thinking about how literally this time last year, I was like, all right, this is the last month I have. You know, this month I have to get my, you know, my, this, I have to get my second career application going. I have to go to this, to the counselor or whatever. I'd talk to them about, you know, my, my account and, uh, or my application, get it started, get it going. It's the last month I have to just be free, you know, and now I'm here. I'm here starting my last course, um, four weeks away from, or five, whatever, six weeks away from my internship. And, um, I'm almost done school. And I was just thinking like, and for whatever reason, like I've always like, I know that time, like it's not a new revelation that, you know, time flies, but it kind of, this time in particular, for whatever reason, when I was thinking about it, it kind of helped me, I don't know, I don't know, contextualize, but like it really helped put things into perspective, I guess, where it was like, okay, there are things that are going to happen that suck and that you don't like. But it's gonna like in the moment it too. It might it might feel like it's taking forever. It might feel like it's never ending. But eventually it's gonna be gone, and and you're gonna be thinking you're gonna be thinking back on that. So I was thinking, for example, again like networking class, the career uh, career classes that I had, um, um, y- you know the the process of of between finishing school and starting work and that first kind of month ish period where I don't know what I'm doing. I'm confused. I'm worried. Um, and I'm just stressed out. That's going to end. And this time next year, which before I know it, it'll be here. I'll be ideally working full time in a place and you know, everything's going to be normal. And yeah. And it's just like, I try to plan that to workouts where it's like, all right, an hour and then you're done. It's gone. But like, I can't, I still, I hate workouts, but I was just, I was just thinking about that. And then something I've been kind of applying to a certain extent, also, like, for example, there's, there were weekends where, like, I was like, I was, I was looking forward to watching movies, for example, but, like, I have a concert this week, or I have to go pick up Dad this week, or, um, you know, I have to go to wrestling this week, and, and things that I, for the most part, like doing, I want to do, but it's like, I also like being at home, so it's like, okay, I'm gonna enjoy this, but, like, next week, I can, I can have the whole weekend, I don't have to go out or do anything or prepare, I'm, I'm here the entire weekend, and it's like, things just fly, right? So I don't know. It, it was just, I was just thinking about time again and how fast it is. And it's like, you know, we're starting, people are starting school now. And before you know it, it's Thanksgiving, it's Halloween, Christmas break. All of a sudden it's, it's, it's the summer once again. And it's going to be, it's unreal. It's, it's so fast. So yeah. Um, and, and I'm glad that I'm, I'm glad that I'm making these, these videos too, just because I can document this stuff and it's like okay this time next year what if i'm watching this video hi mike and it's like yeah time flew feels like just yesterday i was making this exact video in this in this this moment this moment captured in time captured in this video like it's weird dude it's weird so yeah also new corn came out this week meh I, and I don't think it's like a Slipknot meh. I think it's like a legitimate meh. No matter how much when times I listen to it, it's not really going to grow that much on me. I mean, it has some good songs, but overall, not doing it for me. The Serenity of Suffering and Path and was it Path of Totality? No, I think that was the the dubstep album. Serenity of Suffering. I don't know the last two albums. I prefer those way more than a new one. So that sucked. And Disillusion had a new album, which I was stoked for. Awesome album. Super happy about it. And yeah, so. That's that. I'm going to go chill and enjoy my weekend. And yeah, next week. Oh my God. Start class. I end yeah, the A plus is now one to five. I'm not looking forward to it, dude. Cause like when I think about it, it's like, all right, I, I have to do my exercises in the morning now. Cause I mean, if I do my exercises at night, it's like I get home, chill for a few hours for like a couple hours actually. And then work out bed. It's like, okay, I kind of want to chill for a little longer than that. But then it's like, also, that means I have to start working out no later than 10 o'clock most, most of the time. Meaning, I wake up at 7, 7 to 8, I'm, I'm going to chill, wake up, and then 8 to 10, I got to study, right? 4 or 1 to 5, I'm in class, and it's Tayo. So, I mean, I'm just going to do anything else. Um, I'm going to try to take the time to study for, like, my 741 again and, like, do actual practical things. Maybe do exchange as well. But, like, I can't do, like, the memorization portion of that. So, that's going to be the first two hours of my day from 8 to 10. 
and then showering, getting ready for school, eating dishes, all that crap, and then going to school and then coming back. By the time I come back, I'm probably gonna have to do a lot more studying because two hours eventually won't be enough. I'm doing network plus, A plus, and seven for one, and possibly even exchange. Lots of studying going on, so I, I, I don't know. So I don't know. I'm not not looking forward to it. Anyway, long video. Peace.